yeah, I wanted to get my body right from my um, syndesmosis injury from last year and um, have a real crack this year. Uh, I wanted to find my feet in the team again and cement my spot and early on I think I was a little bit rusty trying to find my feet back in the team. Um, you know, I was questioning myself whether I belonged or anything like that but, you know, as the season went on I started to find evidence within myself and what I could do so that really um, you know, made me feel a lot better about myself and held me in good stead going into the finals. What about the crowd we saw at the grand final parade today? Over 100,000 lining the streets. It was just spectacular stuff. Just trying to really stay in the moment that week, I guess. But yeah, no, it was pretty unreal. You know, there was a lot of noise around the outside of the club with fans and things like that and social media and stuff. But, you know, when we're inside here at the club, we'd all kind of keep each other calm and bounce off each other with a few jokes and stuff just to keep us level-headed and not looking too far ahead. We played, what, two games within a month through the finals period, so we were all a little bit anxious, wanted to get out there, so we just wanted to play. The 2017 AFL Grand Final underway. Yeah, it was pretty hectic, full on. I just remember the boys real fierce out there and wanting the ball in their hands. Yeah, just blokes crashing in, putting their body on like Kochi, diving over the ball and, um, you know, Towner's tackle efforts, driving his head into blokes and stuff. And it's a credit to the players because I feel like that's really how we modelled our game this year. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty unbelievable to be out there and the feeling that was going on. I've been to many grand finals. I have never heard noise quite like this. The first time I really experienced the roar of the, the Tiger Army out there. I was out there talking to Sheds, Shane Edwards and a couple others and all of a sudden they erupted and I couldn't even hear what he had to say. We had to pause for a minute. <laughs> it's massive, especially when you get a momentum going or something like that in a game. And then all of a sudden, you know, they're all roaring and, and carrying on a little bit. And <laughs> Us players out in the field start to feel a little bit of something inside and it gets us going as well. So it's, um, it's pretty special what, what they can produce out there. You know what? It's Tiger time. That's what it is. Enjoy it now. Well, I was on the bench and I had about three or four minutes to go left in the game and I was like, Breeze are getting me out there. I just wanted to get out there and be on the field for the zone. And I was on the bench and I was, had the biggest smile on my face. Tigers! Yeah, it was pretty incredible when the siren went, like us boys on the bench literally just sprinted out to the closest group of blokes swarming each other and ended up jumping on everyone. It was pretty, pretty amazing. Everyone was hugging and all that. It was pretty funny, hey? So I think my toe got stood on again from celebrating. Last week's prelim final, my toe got stood on by Grimesy and it went instant black and I'm gonna lose my toenail now from him high-fiving and hugging me, <laughs> so I think the same thing happened after the grand final siren went as well, so. <laughs> Number 33, Cameron McIntosh. Oh, it's massive. Um, you know, I dreamed of this moment as a kid growing up. And, you know, all my mates and family back home as well are all so happy that I've achieved something that I wanted to do as a kid. And now, to be here and to be able to hold it, it's just all evidence now for me to know that I can do it. And, you know, it's only the start of of my career. Hopefully I've still got a long way to go. <laughs> I couldn't imagine having that, this whole feeling again, you know, it's, it's pretty incredible. It'll be massive if it did happen again next year. I reckon I'm just going to soak it up now and then as next season starts, there's no reason why we can't do it again because we are good enough and I'm just so proud of myself and the whole team here and what we've achieved together as one.